Hello again stream leaders. In this video, we're going to go over the stdart write and the magic command. And we're starting right now. Streamlit provides two easy ways to write information to the app. And this includes the stdartwrite and the magic command, which should typically be the first thing that you try. Let's now take a closer look at these two commands. So what can stdartwrite do? As already mentioned, it allows you to write arguments to the app. You can think of this as the Swiss Army knife of Streamlit commands, in that it does different things depending on the information that is provided to it. Unlike other Streamlit commands, st.write command has some unique properties. Firstly, you could pass in multiple arguments into st.write and it will write all of them. And secondly, its behavior will depend on the information that is passed onto it. Particularly, st.write supports a wide range of data types. And this includes text strings, emojis, numerical values, data frames, and also chart figures which can come from matplotlib, plotly, altair, and also bokeh. To use the st.write command, you can provide one or more arguments as the input argument. Let's now take a look at the magic command. Magic command is a feature in Streamlit that allows you to write common data science objects, such as markdown, numbers, data frames, and also charts. And you could do this without typing an explicit command at all. So you could just put the things that you want to be displayed on its own line of code. And magically, it will appear in your app. So in a nutshell, the magical thing about magic commands is that there is no commands at all. Just by using variables or literal values, it is magically recognized by Streamlit and is magically displayed in the app. So how does the magic happen? Let's now take a technical look at it. Under the hood, as shown in the source code, the st.write command will perform a series of if and elif checks in order to determine the data type of the argument being evaluated so that it could choose the appropriate streamlit command in order to display text, data frame, and also chart figures. And also, magic is also smart enough to ignore doc strings. That is, it is able to ignore strings at the top of files and functions. And so with the explanation of the st.write and the magic command out of the way, we're now going to take a look at the code examples. And so we're going to start with the st.write and then we're going to move our way up to the magic command. And so let's take a look at this coding example for the st.write. So as with every other Streamlit app, we're going to import Streamlit as st. And in a typical situation, we're going to write text to the Streamlit app by using st.write. And then as input argument, we're going to use the string hello world. And let's say that if you have text in Markdown, or if you want your text to be spanning multiple lines of code, you could use three quotation marks inside the st.write command. And so in this particular example, we're typing in hash symbol, which represents the h1 heading. This is the document title. And then in normal text, we're going to type in this is some markdown and before and after the word markdown we have an underscore which will represent the italic and then we close the statement with three quotation marks here in our third example we're going to display a data frame or we're going to import pandas as pd we're going to create a variable called df and then we're going to use pd.dataframe to create a data frame and the data frame will comprise of two columns which will contain the values of 1, 2, 3 for column 1 and 4, 5, 6 for column 2. And finally, in order to display the contents of the data frame, we're going to use it as an input argument to st.write. And therefore, we will use st.write parenthesis df as the input argument in closing parenthesis. And there you go. You have the contents of the data frame shown in the Streamlit app. Here in our fourth example, we're going to display the string x, and then we're going to write out the value of x variable. So here we're going to start by defining a variable called x, and then we're going to assign a value of 10. Afterwards, we're going to use st.write command, and then as input arguments, we're going to use two of them, which will comprise of the first one, which is a string, and the string is displaying the character x, and in comma, the second argument, we're going to use the value of x, which is 10. And so if you run this command, you're going to see the x string or the character followed by an empty space and then the value of the x variable. 
So you're going to see X and then 10. Here in the fifth example, we're going to display a matplotlib chart. So we're going to start by import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We're going to also import numpy as np. We're going to create a variable called y, and then we're going to generate random number according to a normal distribution. And it will have a size of 1000, a mean of 0, and a standard deviation of 1. We're going to then create the plot. So we're going to create two variables, fig and ax. And then we're going to use plt.subplots. And then we're going to define ax.histogram function, which will create the histogram. And then as input arguments, we're going to specify the y variable, which is the randomly generated number from the normal distribution. And then we have a input argument specifying the number of bins to use, which is bins equals to 20. And then finally, we're going to write the plot using the st.write command. And as input argument, we're going to use the fig variable. And so the histogram plot is now written to the Streamlit app. All right, and so congratulations. You have now created your app using the st.write command. And now let's take a look at the magic command. And so in this particular example, we're going to perform exactly the same steps that we have done previously for the st.write app. However, the only difference here is that we're not going to use the st.write command, but then we're going to use the streamlit magic command, which means we're not going to use any commands at all. And so in our first example here, we're going to display the text hello world in the strings or the quotation marks. And so just typing in hello world in the quotation mark and saving it as a streamlit app, you're going to get the text hello world displayed in the app. And here, if you use the three quotation marks and then you have multiple lines of markdown, this code will allow you to write text to H1 heading and then followed by a sentence in markdown format where the word markdown will be in italic. In the third example, it's going to do the same thing. We're going to display the data frame. So we're going to import pandas as pd, create a df variable containing the data frame, and then we're going to display the data frame just by typing in the df variable. In the prior example, we typed in st.write and then using the import argument as df. But in this example, we're not using st.write. And in example four, in the same way, we're using the x string and also the value of x. And so again, it's going to display the x character followed by the value of x. And then we're doing that without the st.write command. And likewise, we're going to display the matplotlib charts, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import numpy as np, create a variable y, and then using that as input to the histogram function in order to create a histogram plot, which we will show by just typing in the fig variable. And in a prior example, we use st.write with the fig as the input argument. But then here, we're just typing in fig, and then the streamlit magic will recognize that and display all of the information that is desirable. And so in a nutshell, we have seen the st.write app and also the magic app where the contents are essentially the same but are different only in the use of the st.write in the first example and also in the absence of the st.write in the second example, which is the magic command. So congratulations, you've now understood how to use st.write and the magic command. And so happy streamlitting.